We are going to observe some changes and the reasons for these changes. We know a simple change, changing of milk into curd. Do you know how milk can be converted into curd? Curd is prepared by adding a very small quantity of curd, that is sample curd, to the bowl containing warm milk. The milk is stirred well, then the bowl containing milk with the sample curd is covered with a lid and kept still and undisturbed for few hours to get curd. When milk converts into curd, you can observe the following changes. The first one is change in state, that is liquid to solid. Milk is in liquid state, that converts into curd, that is solid state. You can observe a small change in volume, a change in weight, change in smell, change in taste. Now the question is, in all conditions, can we convert milk into curd? Or for the conversion of milk into curd, any particular conditions are required. For this, take three bowls. Bowl 1, bowl 2 and bowl 3. One contains cold milk and two and three warm milk. Now add a curd sample to the bowl 1 and bowl 2. That is cold milk and warm milk. And don't add anything to this third bowl. After 6 to 8 hours, you observe this. Then what you can observe? Only you can observe change in bowl 2. The milk in bowl 2 converts into curd. The reason for changing of milk into curd is due to addition of sample curd to warm milk. With this we can observe that this milk is cold, this milk is warm. Curd is added to cold milk as well as warm milk. But only the curd added to warm milk converted milk to curd. That means the reason for change of milk into curd is due to addition of sample curd to warm milk. To bowl 3, no curd is added. To bowl 2, we added a sample curd. The adding of sample curd to the milk helps to grow some kind of bacteria in it and enables conversion of milk into curd. Now from this what you can observe? When curd is added to warm milk, then only milk can be converted into curd. If curd is added to cold milk, no. If no curd is added to the milk, then also no change.